using ChatGPT might literally be rotting your brain according to this new MIT study published in Time magazine just a few days ago. Now, you might think I'm being dramatic by saying that, but I read the details of the study, and what it shows is that people who are regular ChatGPT users have lower levels of neural connectivity than people who are not. This is the data sparking concerns about students using ChatGPT to do their essay writing, especially since recent studies show that a third or more college students are willing to use it to do their home assignments. What you're seeing here is brain connectivity during an essay writing task. Hotter colors mean more connectivity and vice versa. And the researchers produced this by getting 54 different participants and splitting them into three different groups. One was large language models of which ChatGPT is one, which they were allowed to use to write their essay. One was just the standard search and one was the conventional brain only method. And as you can see, those who just use their brain to produce the essays had significantly more connectivity, more original idea generation and deeper levels of memory, meaning that when they were asked to reproduce their essay afterwards, they were significantly more likely to do it if they produced it from their brain than if they did with the large language models, indicating the lack of focus and attention during the task. Now, it's difficult to know what the long-term impacts of this would be, and it hasn't passed peer review yet because the authors believed that the findings in this research were so important that it would be out there before any legislators decided to implement this in primary school classrooms, for example. So it does need confirmation, but still cause for concern.